And he said, we're in deep shit. The world is, and we need to act. In your whistleblower filing, you discuss a February 7th meeting of the department leadership group at which you urge the department to focus on securing N95 masks. Can you describe what happened at that meeting? They informed me that they did not say, believe there was a critical urgency to procure masks. They conducted some surveys, talked to a few hospitals and some companies, and they didn't yet see a critical shortage. And I indicated that we know there will be a critical shortage of these supplies. We need to do something to ramp up production. They indicated if we notice there is a shortage that we will simply change the CDC guidelines to better inform people who should not be wearing those masks so that would save those masks for our healthcare workers. My response was, I cannot believe you can sit and say that with a straight face. In that fact, was an absurd. In fact, it took three months from your initial warnings uh, until mid-April for the federal government to invoke its authority under the Defense Production Act to require the production of millions of more N95 masks. And even then, the administration required the production of only 39 million masks, which is far fewer than you and other experts said that we would need. What was the consequence of this three-month delay and inadequate response. Were lives endangered? Lives were endangered and I believe lives were lost. And, and not only that, we were forced to procure these supplies from other countries without the right quality standards. So even our doctors and nurses in the hospitals today are wearing N95 marked masks from other countries that are not providing the sufficient protection that a U.S. standard N95 mask would provide them. Some of those masks are only 30 percent effective. Therefore, nurses are rushing in the hospitals thinking they're protected, and they're not. From January of this year, tell me about just one specific moment when you had that sinking feeling in the pit of your stomach because you were not seeing the response that you knew needed to happen. Congressman, I'll never forget the emails I received from, from Mike Bowen and indicating that we are, we are, our mask supply or N95 respiratory supply was, was completely decimated. And he said, we're in deep shit. The world is, and we need to act. And I pushed that forward to the highest levels I could in HHS and got no response. From that moment, I knew that we were going to have a crisis for our healthcare workers because we were not taking action. We were already behind the ball. That was our last window of opportunity to turn on that production to save the lives of those healthcare workers. And we Thank didn't you. act.